Good morning, DP. It's Ziegler in the house with Drake Bell and more. Nelson has prom and the final score. And Schiff will fill you in with a rock and beat. So come into the room and take your seat because DP News starts now. The leadership applications for the 14-15 school year are also due today. Turn those in and watch for interview schedule posted outside P2 and Scott's office. Last week you voted on your class officers and here are the results. Congratulations. We can't wait to see what you do next year. Speaking of next year, there will be a new bell schedule, so inform your parents. Our modified schedule will provide some new opportunities for students who enjoy helping others. We are now recruiting new writing tutors, peer tutors, and student mentors to help out during the seminar period, as well as in regular classes and in drop-in centers during late starts and after school. If you are interested in committing yourself to one of these roles and earning community service credit in the process, there will be a general information meeting this Friday at lunch in H24. If you can't make that meeting, then please contact Ms. Selzler in H24, or you can send her an email at rselzler at dphs.org and do that ASAP. Wow, Ms. Ziegler, that was a lot of information. The last DP, Beautify DP is from 9 till noon this Saturday, May 17th. NHS members must participate in one per semester. Sign up or check outside Miss Stone's office for info. <laughs> Speaking of sign-ups, there is still a chance to show off your talents in this year's talent show. Auditions for any talents are continuing today and you can sign up on the list outside P2. All visual artists can submit their work to A4 and it will be shown as a video at the event. And for all those talented artists, the Chalk Festival is happening around the flagpole, and you can still participate. Just head over to check out the amazing work being done. Judging will happen soon, and the winner will get a square at the Imodinari Festival in two weeks. Theater needs actors, both young and old, to perform in the Young Playwrights Festival. The hours are flexible, and the commitment varies, so visit dpnews.org to find out how you can be involved. Remember that this Friday is the Stats and Calc test for SBCC. Sign up with Mr. Sofro, but bring your K number to get a ticket. OMG, DP, I hope you were in the Greek yesterday because Drake Bell wowed the huge crowd that was there. His new album just came out and he showed he is a great performer. Colleen Murphy had a chance to sit down with him and found out that he has writing and performing music all of his life, including for Josh and Drake. Because I really love like coming to places like this. That's the other thing that's cool about playing high schools is I get to uh, really talk to and hang out with all the fans instead yeah. of just coming, playing on stage, going backstage and leaving through the back door. Right. Um, it's really cool to come here because I get to actually like hang out with everyone and, and mm -hmm. get to hear what, what they're digging and stuff. So, uh, yeah. so I, I like it. Right. So it's, speaking of you know hearing feedback and stuff, how has the um, album released? It just released what on a... 
pass off. Uh, so your new album, Ready, Steady, Go, yep. released on the 22nd, yes. right? How has that been? It's awesome. Um, I'm really excited about this record. Being able to work with my guitar hero, Brian Setzer, was really right. awesome. Um, and uh, what else? Um, it's just it, it's just so cool to ha be doing this r stripped down, revved up rock and roll music and you yeah. know, just turning my guitar up and rocking. And Wow, that's my cell phone. I apologize for no that. No worries. Let me turn that off. Popular man. Okay, um, but yeah, uh, it's it's really cool. Um, this is the music I grew up on, and, right. and and the vibe I grew up on, and and so it's it's really cool to be able to really explore it and uh, and, and do it. It's fun. Speaking of tunes, tonight there is an orchestra performance at seven in the EPAC. Last night, the jazz band rocked the house and left them wanting more. Volunteers are needed tomorrow, May fifteenth, from four till six at Franklin School. Sign up online at dpnews.org. And the Brandon School Carnival still needs helpers. Sign up outside P2 today. Seniors, your cap and gowns will be distributed tomorrow, Thursday, May 15th at lunch and from 2 o'clock to 3.30 in the EPAC lobby. They will not be distributed during late start. If you haven't ordered them, bring $35 tomorrow to buy them tomorrow. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of DP News. Have a splendid Tuesday, Dos Pueblos. I'm Ms. Ziegler. And I'm Miss Nelson. Special shout out to my period three English 10. And now over to Mr. Schiff with sports. Greetings sports fans. Boyd's Volleyball had their first CIF home game yesterday in RGM at seven o'clock. Our team swept Rigetti High School. Uh, by a score of 25-19, 25-17, and 25-22. Nate Holmes was on fire. He had 12 kills, 24 digs. Our boys will either play Lakewood or Torrance on Thursday in the second round of the CIF playoffs. Go volleyball. Boys golf will compete in the CIF championships next Monday at Cypress Ridge Golf Course up in Napomo. Go golf. Our first place softball team had their last home game last night on our field against second place Ventura. DP started strong, scoring five runs in the first inning. They built a 6-3 lead, but the Cougars scored five runs in the seventh and de defeated us 8-6. Our 9-2 girls will now travel back to Ventura on Thursday in a battle for first in Channel League. Good luck, girls. Senior Tyler Bradford was recently named High School Runner of the Month. Bradford won the Santa Barbara County title in the 800 by finishing in under two minutes for the first time. Bradford's been on cross country and track for four years, and next year will be heading to Westmont College to continue his track career. Boys baseball beat Ventura yesterday by a score of 3-1. to one. Josh Tedeschi pitched a four-hitter, helping the team keep their one-game lead in the Channel League. The boys are now 8-2 and two and head to the 8-3 and three Buena Bulldogs today in a battle for the Channel League championship. Good luck, guys. Swim and dive head to the CIF prelims tomorrow at Riverside Aquatic Center. Last week, our boys played in the individual CIF events, but today they'll team up for their first round of team playoffs against Crescenta Valley at 2.30. That's all I have for you today. I'm Mr. Schiff. Have a great day, DP.